Suppose you want to set a different look for a family using filter or maybe using material but somehow your required pattern isn't there in the project. So how can you create and use that pattern in your project or in your family? In this video we will see how to create a custom pattern using AutoCAD and import it to Autorex Revit. First let's see what are the different types of pattern available inside Autorex Revit. For this I am going to manage tab and settings additional settings here you will find fill pattern see drafting pattern and model pattern these patterns are already available in our project now we want different kind of pattern for our project or maybe for our family let's see how we can create that using AutoCAD just click OK here and go to AutoCAD in AutoCAD you will find so many patterns already available here you will find go to hatch and patterns see we have so many patterns available in our AutoCAD we will use any of this pattern in our Revit also so suppose we are going to this honeycomb pattern in our Revit so let's see how just escape from here I'm closing this grid F7 our first step is to draw or place the pattern which we want to import in Revit and for placing any hatch pattern we need a closed area for that I am creating a rectangle here a small rectangle now we have to place that hatch here go to the hatch and find that hatch uh, this honeycomb just click here ok now we will export this hatch file as a .pat file and we will import that pat file inside revit to export this hatch file as .pat file we have a command that is get pat Here. see this is asking for selecting hatch now I'm selecting the hatch now this hatch file is exported to my documents folder just go to files here documents here we will find the hatch pattern file this is saved as .pat file we can import this in our Revit project so go to the Revit project and import this. Again manage settings, ADSL settings, fill pattern. Now here you will find new fill pattern. Just click there and click custom, browse and go to the location. This PC documents on this one. Okay. Now this uh, hatch pattern is imported but this is not visible because of the scale. We have to change the scale. Suppose this still not visible so we have to decrease the scale. 0, 1. See this is now visible. Ok. Now this is only appeared in our drafting pattern. For model pattern we have to import that PAT file in our model pattern also. But when we will try to import that dot .pat file in our model that will not be imported an error message will appear let's see once just click here custom browse this file open see no model type pattern found because in that dot file no type patterns of model is specified so we have to specify type patterns in that PAT file just close here cancel ok go to the file location now open that file see here no type pattern for model is specified we have to specify type pattern for model just close this and copy and paste here rename this file as model now open 
here you have to change the code let's see how and specify our model now just save it and close again go to the revit manage settings it is a setting fill pattern model same procedure new fill pattern custom browse and now we are choosing this file open see this is now perfectly imported now place ok and ok now that dot file is imported in our project now for importing inside material i am going to create a new family just any generic model open just create an extrusion you now when we select the extrusion no material is specified so we have to specify our material first just go to the material and choosing default okay now our extrusion is default material and we want to change the looks of this material so click on extrusion go to material and here in graphics tab you will see foreground and background this foreground works on model pattern this background works on drafting pattern so first we are importing that model pattern just click on this none and model see there is no pattern imported so we have to repeat those previous steps here also click on new fill pattern ok custom browse honey model open and ok apply see the surface pattern of the material has been changed we can also do this using drafting pattern also let's see how again go to material I'm just removing this one there's no pattern now for background I'm choosing drafting pattern see there is no honey pattern so same step new fill pattern custom browse this pattern open see in our preview there is nothing because we have to change the scale 0.01 okay okay apply see surface pattern of the material has been changed using drafting pattern in this way you can create custom pattern using AutoCAD and import this in our Revit file. If you still facing any issues regarding this you can comment on the video and if this video is helpful to you please like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.